Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the F1 health feature on Windows. If you are a Windows user and sometimes if you press the F1 accidentally, you're going to see the help screen pop up on your browser or on your screen. And I found that really annoying, so I decided to basically uh, disable that functionality. And to disable the F1 health feature, so what you want to do is you want to first of all go to uh, your PC. And next, you want to go to your C drive. And let me zoom in a little bit bigger. So you want to go to the Windows folder. And under the Windows folder, you want to look for a file called helppan.exe. So let me scroll down and it should look like this. So let me zoom in a little bit bigger. So here's the file. And make sure that you have an MN permission on your PC. So you want to click on this file and right click. Go to properties and go to the security tab and click on advanced. So here you want to change the owner uh, ownership from the system, uh, whatever the system name is, uh, to your username. So make sure that you know your uh, your username. And if you don't, so you can go to um, this PC. And if you go to uh, computer tab and system properties, and your username is the device name. So right here is my uh, username. And close this. So here you want to replace the the, uh, the owner with your uh, username. And to do that, so under the select user or group uh, window, so here you can just type the, the username. So my username is laptop hyphen jai. And click on check name. Okay, uh, let me just search for my name. So here, if you just type your name and click on check name, Windows will automatically uh, recognize the username. And once you've done that, click on OK to replace the, the owner to, uh, to yourself. And next, under the permissions tab, so look for your name. So my name is right here. And click on edit. And here, make sure that uh, under the basic permissions uh, list, you give yourself uh, full control to this file. And click on OK, and OK to close all the windows. At this point, you have uh, full control of this file. Windows is going to regenerate the helppan.exe file. And the workaround is that select the file and press F2 to rename the file. I just renamed my file helppan.exe, and that's it. And now uh, if you press the F1 key, and the help screen is not going to pop up. So this is just a very simple Windows tip that I will share. And hopefully you guys found the video useful.